Good morning, everybody. I am so excited. I just realized last night I'm getting ready to, to do this morning show, and I'm kind of planning the week, and da 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 da. And I look at my calendar, and I look at something that one of our viewers did for us, and I realized that we are celebrating this week is going to be celebrate ETC, celebrate returning to ETC, celebrate the fact that we have been back here for seven years now, seven years this week. It absolutely blows my mind. And I'm going to start today's program. Obviously, it is National Flag Day, and we are going to say flag, 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 support your flag, support everything that honors America, and, and do it with pride in America. Yeah, and my phone is blowing up, and that's people drive me crazy calling me when I'm on the air. You know, don't y'all know my schedule now by 16 years? Y'all know my dang schedule, so... <laughs> So there you go. But you know, um, it is National Flag Day. We live in a, a free country that offers us the opportunity to share what we believe, what we think, how we feel. And I think that's what the foundation of ETC has always been. We are in a wonderful community filled with amazing people. Um, one of the first things that happened here at ETC was to offer the doors open to your churches where your choirs came, your individual soloists came, your children came, and we featured you. And that's kind of how ETC started. And um, one of the pioneers here at ETC with our music was Larry Davis. He and his brother Vic had a program here for years. Sadly, a year ago, um, Vic is still, you know, doing what he does, I imagine, but Larry has gone on to be with the Lord. And, and I said, it is so weird to me because he was one of the pioneers here at ETC and he's gone now. But we can still watch his programs and that's the great thing about what we do. We have archives of years and years and years of you, of your children, of your family. It was all made possible because somebody had a vision. I think his name was Roger Fudge and he had a vision to bring the community together by uniting them in this studio. And the studio has welcomed so many people from politicians to world leaders to, to different people who just made a solid statement here because we live in a free America. We have preachers who come on on Sunday mornings. We have singers who come on all the time. We are able to do what we do because we live in a free America. And that flag behind me is, is the symbol of our free America. And so today, celebrate your flag. Make sure you put your flag out and remember what it stands for. And remember what the stars and stripes stand for. Remember what that red stands for. Remember all of that and how important it is because it is National Flag Day. Okay, I want to read you something. Uh, my daughter gave me this book, um, I think on Mother's Day when she was on the show, she brought me this little book, and, it's, and I love this. It is impossible to hate someone you continually pray for. Trust God who is completely righteous, for he promises, I will contend with those who contend with you. Oh my. Now that is very deep. And again, today, June 14th, it is impossible to hate someone you continually pray for. Trust God who is completely righteous, for he promises, I will contend with those who contend with you. That is pretty awesome. And that is Isaiah 49, 25. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. No matter what you're facing, say your prayers. God's going to take care of things, answer your prayers. All, not always the way you want them to be answered, but answered prayers. And I got to tell you all about my hair day today. See? Leah and Pam together have done my hair for a combination of over 50 years. And we just laughed because Leah had a certain hairdo in her mind today. And I said, no, no, no. I said, this is what we're doing. I said, we're going back to the natural curly me because my hair is natural curly. I've never had to have a permanent thank you, Jesus, to my daddy who had black curly hair. I am so proud of my daddy's curly hair because it <clears throat> passed it on that I don't have to have perms. I don't have to have any curling. All I got to do is you wash it and you dry it and here it comes. So today I just totally blew Leah's mind when I said, no, 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 we're not going to do that today. And she said, what do you mean we're not? I've got it planned. I've got it laid out. I've got it figured. I said, no, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go curly. So I think that Tim might have been an inspiration to me because Tim's really curly, curly, curly. <laughs> I've been around him so long, but now I just think I'll just get up and just curl his hair. So today she's like, she is fighting me tooth and toe, arguing with me, and I said, no, 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 this is the way it's going to be. So we just went natural 
So it is natural curly, and what you see is what you get. That's the first thing I told Roger Futch when he hired me. I said, what you see is what you get. If I'm having a bad day, I can't hide it. You're going to know it. If I'm having a good day, I can't hide that. You're going to know it. So you know a lot about me. I've learned a lot about you. And one of the things that I've learned is we have an amazing, amazing audience. And one of our viewers sent me a precious, precious gift last week. And I'm so, I absolutely love this. These are beautiful photographs done by a photographer, and I can't remember their name, but I gotta look it up. Let me uh, um, tape it, come on. Yeah, okay. All right, this is a photo of downtown Ball Ground. If you have not been to Ball Ground, shame on you. You should have been there this weekend because we had the Garden Club celebrated 70 years as a Georgia Garden Club. They had the most amazing, amazing event, and we had so many people there, and it was just fantastic. And then, here's a photo of our office. This is our office, and this is downtown ball ground as it looks today. Well, I'm going to do a warning for you. Tomorrow, the next day, and the next day, you better not try to get on Main Street in ball ground because we are getting new paving. That is so exciting because, oh my goodness, do we ever need new paving. We're getting new paving. Now, the event this weekend happened at the Botanical Garden. And this is a photo of the Botanical Garden. And I gotta untape this. Okay, this is a photo of the Botanical Garden. That's where the event was on Saturday. And to each and every person who came out, thank you so very, very much for being there. It was amazing. There was a lot of money raised. There was a lot of awareness of how important a small town is. Um, just people joining and loving and living and, and just had a blast. So, and this one is over on Yellow Creek Road. And this is a very, very important piece of American Cherokee County history. So this is a really, really cool building that everybody should go and see, and it's on um, Yellow Creek Road. This is Pools Mill, and I've only been to Pools Mill a time or two, and let me tell you, when I went, I realized that it's very close to home, maybe eight, 10 miles, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful place with a covered bridge, and you can go there and have a picnic, you can hang out, and a great place for a proposal. So if you're thinking of getting engaged, this would be a wonderful place to do it. And it's just off of Yellow Creek Road, right off of 369. Very, very easy to find. But again, this is Pools Mill Covered Bridge. So I'm giving you a daycation. Now we're back to the Botanical Garden. And the Botanical Garden is just fantastic. It is in ball ground. It is absolutely free. You can come and be, spend time as long as you want to. A lot of people go down there and take their computers and do their Zoom meetings, because what kind of background? I mean, it's amazing. And to Ann Kramer, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, precious Ann. Thank you, what a great, great gift, and I appreciate these so much. And uh, they arrived last week, and I'm just excited. I'm going to frame them and hang them in my office. So really, really cool, thank you so much. Okay, I promised you today you will see Oh gosh, how can I explain? The day we came back to ETC, um, it was very strange because we'd been gone for three years and um, I was driving in North Carolina every day and every morning I would get up and I would leave my house at 725 and I kept a positive attitude. It didn't matter if it was raining, sleet and snow and whatever, I would drive to North Carolina. I loved doing the show, I loved the people up there, I met some amazing people, lifelong friends, but, 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 but that drive was really, uh, not fun. So I came here the day that uh, was going to be Joe McCutcheon's last program. My friend Ed Singleton had called me and he said, where are you? And I said, I'm coming out of Murphy. He said, I need you to get to Ella J. And I said, I'm going through Blairsville. I have a meeting there. And he said, well, you need to finish it quickly. I need you to come to Ella J because we need to do a goodbye for our friend Joe McCutcheon, who's no, he's doing his last program at ETC. And I said, I, I just can't, I don't have time, I got this meeting, I'm running late, da 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 I don't have time. And he called me again and he said, how close are you? And I said, okay, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. Well, I'm coming down 515 out of Blairsville and I'm trying to get here. Well, I run in the building and I got here and we uh, had a little celebration for Joe McCutcheon and, and said goodbye to him. And as I was leaving, 
Danny Hensley said, um, you got a minute? And I said, sure. So um, we talked, and um, the rest of the story is I came back to ETC. Been back for seven years. Seven years. Now, that is just absolutely crazy. So, and um, take Facebook down right now. Okay. And um, we, it seems like yesterday that we came back. It absolutely seems like yesterday. But when you see my hairdo that day, it was too heavy. It was too teased. I hadn't had a haircut, and I wasn't happy with it. And I said it reminded me of something. It kind of reminded me of some of those gospel singers that tease and spray and all that. Well, I said, Leah, I don't want that anymore. So you're going to look at the changes in my hairdos because today it is very different than it was on this program. But we're going to flash back to the day. And um, it was an interesting day because I had to think about it. I had to say, okay, do I want to leave up there because I really, really love the people in Murphy? Or do I want to save myself a long, long commute and come back to the people that I love so much here in Gilmer County, Fannin County, Pickens County, Cherokee County? I had, it was such an easy decision. I couldn't wait to get back to ETC. So today, we're going to do some flashbacks. We're going to share some great music with you. We're going to have a really good time. And then tomorrow, we're going to have a really good time because Dave Garner is going to be with us. And then on Thursday, Hans Rupert's going to be with us. We're going to be celebrating what you have in ETC. If you have our services, you have local stuff, local faces, local restaurants, local people sharing what is best about the communities that we serve. And we serve some awesome communities. They are growing, some of them growing a little too fast. We are like bursting at the seams. And we are finding that people love coming here to live. They used to come here to vacation. Now they're like me, they're getting older and they're retiring, so they are here to stay. And we are growing. Boardtown is one of those roads that still has some beautiful properties available. It's still really a country setting and it will always forever be my favorite road to travel on a Sunday morning. So if you haven't gotten out, I want you to get out. I want you to take time to look at the communities that we serve. Right now, we're going to go to the day that we came back to ETC. We're going to take a commercial break, and then we're going to go to this. And, and it, is, it was a very sweet moment to walk back in here. Ms. Farrell Starnes was here. I think Ed Singleton was here. It was a welcome home, and Danny Hensley was responsible for this. Today, I want you to pray. Danny Hensley is an MD Anderson in Houston, Texas. He is in the fight of his life. We are going to pray him through this. We're going to pray him through cancer. We're going to pray him that all this disappears and that he comes home healthy, happy, and, and cannot wait to be back with his beautiful family. And um, he and Don need your prayers. It's a long way to Houston, Texas, but it is a long way that is well worth the trip because hopefully the perfect doctor will help him solve this cancer problem and he will come home to us healthy and happy. So please pray for Danny and Dawn today. They will be gone for probably an extended amount of time. But we wanna say um, to Danny, we love you and ETC would not be what it is without you and thank you so much for hanging in there and thank you for asking me to come back because I love it. Okay, here we go, a commercial break and then we're going to go to the first day that we came back to ETC. again for fire in the sky fireworks over lake blue ridge this july 4th all thanks to our sponsors blue water energy the vantage county chamber of commerce and caldwell banker high country realty so come join the live excitement of fire in the sky fireworks over lake blue ridge on july 4th or watch it live on etc channel 3 
Whether it's memories of your first trip to the local Dairy Queen or your daily visit for a $5 lunch special, the Jasper Dairy Queen has been a part of the community for over 40 years. Locally owned and operated, Jasper DQ is the place where specialty items often become favorites. Burgers, shakes, chicken tenders with yummy dip and gravy, and don't forget the rings and fries. Celebration cakes are always fresh and fast and include the awesome Blizzard Cake. Stop by where folks are always meeting and eating. 515 at Highway 53. Just follow the crowd to the Dairy Queen. ATC knows the internet is evolving, taking new twists and turns as we add our input, make our choices, and follow the light that connects us all. It's quite a journey, one to experience with the fastest speeds available. Contact ETC. Connect to the internet speed that suits your journey. And enjoy the ride. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece, or just making memories, writing a great American novel, or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. so much stuff in today we are going to have a little change of plans and we're going to wait and tomorrow we will hopefully take you back to the first day that we came back to ETC when Dave Garner is here with us we're going to do it then but I want to share something I found um, you know I knew that there was a point in time that we brought the diplomats in the studio we used to bring a lot of groups in the studio all the time and we actually found that so in honor of the passing of Jimmy Pearson who was the um, you know he's the guy who was the diplomats all about him and all about his family and all about his music. He passed away a couple of weeks ago. So we just found the diplomats and I want to share this with you and I think that Matt Dibler was our co-host today. And I will tell you, Matt thought that I had planted a seed because I had the diplomats come, I had Matt come. Matt had left the inspirations and had been on vacation, an extended vacation for a while and wasn't sure he was going back to sing. Well, this day, you're going to get to see Matt with the Diplomats. And it just began, uh, not only continued a great friendship, but put Matt back on stage singing. And that's what Matt was designed to do. I kept telling him, I said, I know you're a great preacher, and I know people love to hear you preach, but how many thousands and thousands of people do you reach singing? And he said, you're right. So he went back to singing, and he's been singing, singing, singing. He is now full-time pastor and he is singing when he can with his family. But today is going to be very special because we do have this footage and uh, I can't even remember what year it was. Maybe like 2010, somewhere around there. Think about that. That's 11 years ago. And in all that time, in that 11 years, Matt has been back singing. He's been singing, singing, singing. He's been preaching everywhere. And it's like the time just flew by. It is just absolutely crazy how time just absolutely flies by. And it does. Um, it is one of those things that we do not know the moment, the hour. God knows the moment, the hour that we're going to leave here, but we don't have a clue. So I think it teaches us to take advantage of every single moment in our life, every single moment in our day. And yesterday, I'm so thankful my daughter and um, her uncle John came to church. We went to church at Ballground First Baptist. 
and it was so sweet. Dawn sent me a message, and she said, Mama, I love the message. I love, I love Paul and the Bible. I love everything about this. It was just a wonderful, wonderful day. We're so blessed to have those days because all of you know the history of my beautiful daughter, and you know that one of the first programs I ever did here on ETC was called Danny's Story, and it was um, a, a man who had, has since gone to be with the Lord, but it was he and Dawn and Angela and I, and we sat right over here in rocking chairs, and we talked about drugs and drug addiction and how many lives it has taken. And at that point in time, I wasn't sure that my daughter was gonna make it through what she had been dealing with for 17 years. Well, clean and sober and doing well and loving the Lord and being in church, I said, you know, ETC has been a part of that because they allowed us to document this travel with Danny. He had just been given his diagnosis and he actually um, was on oxygen and their home caught on fire and it was just, it was horrible. But, but we have this memory and I said, that's what ETC is about. It has created memories for so many of your families for so many years. When I watch the old stuff, I was watching Ann Parks the other night and I thought, how many people has she touched and influenced and, and made feel warm and welcome because she has that great attitude? And that's kind of what ETC had. We had a warm and welcome, open our doors attitude to the community and it still goes today. So, so we're gonna share a way back flashback with Matt and the diplomats as they appeared here at ETC when we were then North Georgia now today. As the world looks upon me as I struggle along and they say I have nothing but they are so wrong in my heart I'm rejoicing how I wish they could see
What a day, glorious day, that will be. What a day that will be, when my Jesus I shall see. When I look upon his face, the one who saved break and go to the weather for just a second so we can get Miss Rita set back up up here and uh, I promise you gosh that is so weird that was Christmas in June uh, it blows my mind at the opportunities that we have had to offer you music to offer you things that are good that happen in our community and I absolutely love that and this weekend we had, in Ball Ground, we had the most amazing, amazing turnout. And it was just hundreds and hundreds of people. They raised tons of money. And it taught me more than ever that um, we really do serve a community that is a caring community. The Garden Club has been in business for 70 years. And every time you turn around, somebody's doing something for somebody else. Somebody's joining, somebody's donating, somebody's doing this, somebody's doing that. That's what the communities we serve are all about. From Turtle Town to Ball Ground, that's what it is. That's what it says. And this weekend, our friends, the Bridgemans, took several members from their church, went, I think, 18 of them total, and went to Fields of the Wood. And they called me and they said, well, how do you get there? And I said, do like I did. I GPSed it. I went one way and I came back another way. I went through Murphy and I came back through Turtletown. And that way you get to make the full circle and you get to see everything. I'm going to challenge you church leaders. Get your congregation out and say, if y'all want to do this, let's do this. Sadly, the snack bar up there is not open anymore. They have a little cafeteria, but they don't have the help to man it right now because we all know what the work situation is. So maybe if you want to take a picnic lunch and take your drinks and just have a picnic up at the top of the hill where the Bible is, you could do that. But they stopped in Murphy and ate. And they said it was a bit crowded, a bit, you know, time consuming. You could take a picnic. So I'm going to suggest, and you could even go through your local subway and buy everything you need to have a big picnic and just do it up there. But go to Field, Field of the Woods. It is so beautiful. And get on Travis and Leisha's page and you can see the pictures that they took up there this week. I posted some of our pictures when Vicki and I went. There's just something about that peaceful time. And we are all looking for a place of peace. I think that's why our area has grown so much. You know, if you lived in Atlanta, wouldn't you want to come up here and live? If you lived in Orlando and you had the traffic of I-4, wouldn't you want to come up here and live? Of course you would. 
So, and I get tickled because every day on my way to work, I pass so many Florida tags. And if it says Orange County, then I know why they're fleeing because I lived in Orange County and it is so flipping crazy wild now. So I understand why y'all are coming to the mountains and I hope that you'll make ETC a part of your mountain transition. I talked to a lady the other day and she said, I can't get your program anymore. I can't get your program anymore. What's wrong? What's wrong? And I said, I don't know. And she said, well, I did this and this and this. I said, oh, no, you better go back to ETC. She didn't know that when she gave up something, she lost having our program. And she said, I'll be back at their office Monday morning. And I said, okay, good. And she said, I didn't understand what I was giving up. And I said, you give up the local stuff. ETC is about local people. Tomorrow, you're going to get to see um, Dave Garner as he comes back. He's been here longer than I had been. I think he would have been here. This would have been his 18th year. And he is still doing what he does, and he absolutely loves it. And you're going to get to see him and spend some time with him tomorrow. So that's going to be fun. Now, have we got some music we're going to queue up? All right. From our um, flashbacks and all the things that we do, we have the ability to share it with you again. So here we go. Sit back and enjoy a little flash from the past. And two men drew close. I believe when John touched Jesus, he felt the Holy Ghost. John may have started shouting, and it may have sung a song. He may have started dancing till the dusk turned to dawn. Well, I want to go down, down to the river. I want to see the man baptized. I want to see this man called Jesus washed in the river of life. I wonder what John was feeling when he first saw the man. Oh, don't you know he felt the spirit when he touched the master's hand. I wonder how John felt. 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 When he met him in the water, I wonder how John felt. When he baptized Jesus, I wonder how John felt. Oh, don't you know he felt the spirit when he touched the master's hand. Well, I want to go down to the river. Thank you, thank you, thank you. People are still calling in saying how wonderful it is to have you as a blessing back in our life. Yeah, and it is such a blessing. Thank you, God, for returning you to us. Um, I want Joe to do the, the song that features him the most. And, and it is one of those things, guys. seen for some time will stop by and ask me where have I been what's on my mind and he wonders why I'm not drinking and still painting this old town red tell him I'm serving Jesus now and the old same old name but you're looking on the outside you could see inside instead then you see a brand new man cause the old man is dead I used to live such a wicked life I was lost in darkness Searching for the light But then one night in a little church After hearing what a preacher said I gave my life to Jesus
seen before you may look a lot the same. I still wear the same clothes, still got the same old name. But you're looking on the outside, you could see. I do. Uh, I told you earlier that my idol in country music is Connie Smith. This is one of my favorite songs I like to sing of hers. It's a little cheerful thing. It's called I Ain't Had No Loving. Is there a six chord in that? It's, there's a bunch of chords in that, oh. but just just watch. Jump in and hang on. Hang on.
Okay, all right. Music, music, music. Ben Stillwater came down here from um, Montana, and uh, it's so funny. Diane came in from Nashville. She's on the Grand Ole Opry all the time. We just had such a good, good time with them just bringing in talent to this area. And absolutely, when they come here to visit, they love it. Doesn't matter where they're from, they love this area. Now, speaking of folks who love this area, um, just got a message from Jen, and please pray for her. She's gonna be having an MRI, and uh, I hope they do her MRI like they did mine. Mine was basically not so traumatic. I was really scared. I don't like that noise, and I don't like that sound, and, but she's going, for, you know, same old, same old, get it done, take care of it, make sure there's nothing wrong anywhere, and then pray her to be back here with us before very, very long. She is excited to have all of her staples out, and she's doing better, but uh, an MRI is scheduled, I think, for today. So please say a prayer that she gets through that fine. And they tell her, you know what they told me after the MRI? I've got this massive sinus infection. It's crazy. I didn't know that was gonna show up on an MRI. And then I have these three blown blood vessels back in the back where my blood pressure might get out of control a little bit. So I'm working really, really hard. And me cutting back on salt is like really tough because I don't like food that doesn't have salt, but I'm trying to do better and be a better girl. So I'm working on it. So say a prayer for Jen and um, hope everything is gonna be well and she will be back with us before very long. Okay, here we go. We've got more music. This is music that we want to share with you. You know, open in the studio to have artists here. Um, we had Lance Carpenter here. He has now gone to be with the Lord. The gentleman wrote a song about Alzheimer's. And then, of all things, he passed from Alzheimer's. So um, we know what dementia does. We know what Alzheimer's does. We know that it is one of those that they need to study, they need to solve, they need to cure. And hopefully in my lifetime. Right now, I want to ask each and every one of you to pray for Sandra Davenport and for Michael Mull as their mom transitions into going to be with the Lord. Um, I just got a message from Sandra and the time is very, very near. So everybody in this community loved Charlie and Margie Mull, precious, precious people who are like parents to me. I love them beyond and I just pray that her transition is just a peaceful one and that when she gets there, Charlie says, well, what took you so long? So um, please pray for Sandra. Please pray for Michael and the grandkids and just hope that um, saying goodbye to Nanny is not gonna be so hard because we know where Margie's going. Here we go back to some music. my 
I'm glad I can say there has been beauty these eyes have seen but it was in the night when I faced the storms in my life oh that's It's an old hymn that I love to kind of pick a little bit on, and, and uh, I don't really think of myself as a, as a picker so much, as a singer so much, as just a guitar pick player, but this is an old one.
mountain, Shenandoah River. Life is older, older than the trees, younger than the mountain, growing like a breeze, country road, take me home to the place I belong, West Virginia, mountain mama, take me home, country to blue water, dark and dusty, painted on the sky, misty taste of moonshine, teardrop in my eye, country road, take me home to the place. Hey, what a precious memory. 
when you know that somebody you love loves to hear you sing and you can just sit down in their living room and you can just sing them a song and then you can hear your mama say those words, how beautiful, how beautiful. That's what mamas do. We treasure those moments. We treasure those memories. I've treasured my moments and memories with you. I'm going to leave you now where rivers, mountains, and good friends meet. See you again tomorrow only on ETC.